Oh, this guy's going downtown. Look at that. Look at that. As I said, de-headed almost instantly in the second swing. Do you know who I am now? Hey, is there something I can do for you? Oh, no friend, everything is fine, I can assure you. My friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim they Life no as a bandit. Oh, what's going on, Gore? Fighters oh. like me. We die too dead. I see. Well, anyway, Gore, it's good to uh, have you back by my side, my friends. If you remember in the last episode, we finally, at least I hope finally, crushed our bandit adversaries up the mountain there. Hopefully that rival gang is now being dealt with. As you can see, I brought many of my bandits here to good old Helgen to reinforce the guards. We've got many different kinds of bandits uh, milling about right now, like this ethereal dude. What's he doing? Uh, bandit ethereal knight. He's just walking around, chilling, vibing. We've got some other bandits around here, like this chitin guy. The lobster man. And uh, yeah, Gora's back at our side, and even Regal is here as well. What's she doing? She was doing something. Uh, I think our bandits have deserved a much a much needed break from warfare. The laborers are continuing their work. While that goes down, we're going to go pay a visit to our old friend Marcus and let him know that all of the guards have been trained now and they're fully uniformed and ready to defend our city. Gore is by my side yet again. I think we'll we'll leave uh, Whiterun for the time being, Gore. You held it well for a while, but honestly, I think we should turn our attentions to Helgen truly build our own city from the ground up. Alright, my friends, let us go. I will be equipping a torch for now. And who's this? Who goes there? I don't, have I seen you before? I'm not sure. Right, let's go down. He's just down here, is he? Marcus, our good old friend. Hopefully he's happy with our work. Wait, where do we go? Is he down here? Um, I think we're going the right way. Right. Oh, sorry, Gore. I'm, I'm <laughs> leading on a wild goose chase. Reunited oh, a it's couple Val. Of war horses, Thank okay. You. No worries. Stories we could tell you. Oh, don't worry. I have many of my own. So does Gore here. So does Gore here. Gore one eye. Oh, my friend. Here he comes. This is Marcus, I believe. All right, come to the main. Come to the main hall where the lighting is a bit better, friend. <laughs> oh. Yeah, YouTube processing is not friendly to uh, to dark colors and shadows and things. So that's why I'm holding this torch always. Come to the light, friend. Let us have a conversation. It's been a while since we've talked. Let's get this town built, friend. Right, I finished helping Korst with the guards. Hopefully now we can actually get onto some town building stuff. Excellent. Just in time. We have a surprise for you. Oh, a surprise. You've done so much to help us that we all wanted to show you how much we appreciate your help. Oh, okay. Go on then. Nice place to call your own would be a fitting reward for a person who Yes, actually, that would be very so once we got the rubble, I'd be very grateful for that. Door, we discovered that the central tower was completely intact and in great structural condition. So is that going to be my house? We my own little personal quarters? To make it livable. Yes. You'll find most everything you'll need to make yourself comfortable there. Dude, I'm going to have a feast. I'm going to feast like a king in this town. Can I move? Should I move my bandit stash there? Do you think, friends? Oh, and if you, yeah, okay, so we've got to wait for a bit for the construction to begin. We're still clearing the rubble, so that makes sense. It takes time. My initial lumber order is way over the uh, I suppose you want me to go search for that. I think I'll bring Gore with me on that. Oh, the new owner. Maybe he's one of my bandits. I own I own Falkreef after all. <laughs> right, there we are. Okay. The guards training is completed. Return to Marcus. That's done. So I think we've got to go check up on this lumber supply. Uh, my friend Gore. I think I'll bring just Gore with me on this one. Because... I don't think we need an army going out there. So let's, let's head outside then, shall we? Oh, my friend, your body is still invisible. I Hello. keep saying I need to get that fixed. It sometimes fixes itself, then goes invisible oh, again. Yes. Oh, look, our Bone Lord Sniper. Who are you? Your eyes glistening with, with crimson, See? like blood. Uh, let's uh, de-equip this torch quickly, shall we? Get rid of that. So, we have a few little menial tasks to do. I do want to get construction on the way, though, because... Honestly, I'm, I'm prepping. This is why I brought the bandits here. I'm prepping for the, the invasion of the Falmer, man. Like, we've got to get on the road to, to defense. Uh, war, war is on the horizon for us. Once this gets finished, we'll bring yet more of our bandits here. And I'm just going to go check out my private tower quickly. But yeah, it looks like we've got a decent number of uh, soldiers here ready for the defense. I don't know what's going to happen once the Falmer 
figure out what we're doing. Gore by my side. If anyone's going to live, it should be Gore. If things get too ropey, I'll send him to safety. I owe him at least that. But Gore, you'll be the first to see my private tower alongside me. Let's go. As you entered the door, you noticed a note for you on the floor and picked it up. Okay, a gift for you. Take a look around you, a private tower. Oh, a table with food already laid out. A feast for me, perhaps. Is that Azura? A statue of Azura, I think. Okay, she's not like the deity I necessarily worship, but... Okay, apothecary satchel. A few little bits and bobs in there. Some light reading on the little side piece there. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is a humble little tower. It's it's nothing much, but it will definitely do serve me well. For sure. And this is my quarters, I see. Oh, yes, a nice spacious bed. With good furs and a strong box. With some some minor loot inside. Oh, should I, should I keep my... Friend, should I keep my bandit loot in my current uh, Riverwood stash? Or should I bring it here? I'll, I'll uh, let you decide that. There's definitely some cool shrines here. Let's do an arcade prayer, shall we? Oh, blessing of arcade. Let's... Oh, yes! Going topside, getting a vantage point. We can see all the battles and command our troops from up here. Yes. Once these buildings get refurbished, there will be some more homes. Our, bandit, our bandits are settling in nicely. The guards are at work training. They'll be great defenders in no time. Gore, look down upon our new kingdom. This is ours. Completely bandit controlled, yes. Fantastic. Right, let's go back down because I saw a hidden button which looked interesting. What lies down here? I saw a little hidden button. Oh, enable mannequins. Oh, okay. We, we go to the lower levels. Oh my. The, the lower levels is where it's at. My word, look at this. Trophies are plenty. We should definitely bring some of our bandit stash here. Hang up some of the swords and shields we've got so far. But uh, that is awesome. How many plaques are there? How many weapon displays are there? Man. We are the bandit king after all. I mean, wow, this is awesome. Look at this. This is some sweet digs. Got a mask sitch for all the dragon priest masks. Yes. Yes! Dagger rack, what's down here? It goes even further. Cavern level! Into the caverns! Let us journey. I Honestly, lo logging into this episode, I didn't realise that I was going to get this sweet reward from Marcus. Let's go to the cavern, shall we? Let's vibe down here, see what's up. Oh my. What, is it? what are these slabs? Are these just ceremonial? What's up here? Does this lead anywhere in particular? Uh, well, there's Draugr up here. Are they... What are these? Are these training dummies or something? What are these things? Huh? I don't even know what they, they are. Is it like a trophy of some kind? Huh. Interesting nonetheless. It goes deeper still into this vast cavern. The Mage Stone. The Feath Stone. A spider. Are these all being taxidermied, I guess? But, yeah, it leads us to a vast cavern. At least we have an escape route. If we, uh, if Helgen should fall, we can escape through these caverns. This is vast. Yes. Right, this is actually pretty cool. This this Helgen Reborn mod is... So Honestly, it's one, it's one of the better mods I've played. I must be honest. I must be. Although, I'm not sure what gets if we can fill this place with anything... So waterfall, we can go down there. Um, right, before I jump in the water, I'm going to venture down this way. Let's see if there's any other little passages. There is nothing down here by the looks of it. It would be nice if I could fill the, this place up a little bit. I don't know if it's going to fill up over time or if it's going to have any cool little things. Because right now it's just kind of an open space. It's, it's cool nonetheless. It's very vast. But let's jump down here because I see a little... A little nook, a waterfall that's going to suck us down. Oh, can I go? Oh, I think there's an invisible wall. I don't think I can go down there. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a way out of this place because then we could uh, we could escape if need be. But I think it ends here. I'm afraid. 
unless it's a project to when we do the construction to to kind of make a hidden passage or something. We'll see as we go on with the mod. But yeah, Helgen Reborn has kind of taken over the series a little bit. Because I, I didn't realise how vast the mod was when I started it. It was going to be like a little cool side project while I did my banditry stuff, but it's kind of become our main focus. I guess it's always good to have a, a key focus in a series like this. But we should really get back out into the world and actually do some bandit stuff this episode. Because, uh... We've just been exploring a little bit so far. Let's get the warrior stone, just in case. Yeah, I already have the blessing. Cool. Just wanted to double check and make sure. Right, okay. Interesting. I'm sure these little podiums and stuff will fill up as well as time goes on. So, go on, let's head back outside. It's about time the king had his own tower. It's not much of a castle, but, you know, it'll do. It'll do. Very nice. Right, let's go talk to Patsy first, because he's already here, so we might as well get him out of the way before we head out to Falkyrie. My friend, hey, is there something I can do for Marcus you? said I should see about taxidermy. Aye, I can mount many of the creatures and good, I good, good. It'll explain everything. Oh, thank you, I will. Good day. He wants me to read a book. Oh, I also I need to read that note. Getting that book reminded me of the note I got in the tower. Let's read that, shall we? A gift for you. Hello, friend. We all hope you like your new private tower. As an additional surprise for you, we left you a little something in the end table at the end of the bed upstairs. It's nothing much. It's just our way of initiating you into our group. Unfortunately, we're not what we once were in terms of numbers, but our spirit still remains strong. Balfring and Sienna work together in crafting you new armor, so hopefully it will fit you well. Perhaps we will. Oh, new! I got some armor actually in that tower. I didn't even look in there. I'm going to go back, friends, and get my new cool armor. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. I didn't even realise, I should have read that note as I got in, but in the end table, I have some armour apparently. Uh, that's not the right end table, is it this one? Oh, no, it's this one here, okay. Oh, yes! Helgen armour! Keep it, oh! Should I wear that or should I wear the Helgen? I think I'll wear this. Do you know what, I'm going to give this a go, and it's not my Bandit King armour, but... I'll, I'll take this off for now, I'll store this in the end table. I think I'll wear the heavy armour for now. Since I am a, a kind of heavy guy, but this this might become like the the new sigil of our bandit group the the hammer and the anvil. Well, let's equip this right now. I'm, I'm naked. Dun 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 dun. Okay, this is awesome. A true uniform for me finally. The bandit king. This is pretty cool actually. I like this armor. It's kind of like the steel plate, but it's got like a few cool additions. Some nice chainmail underneath. Right, my fr my gore. Let's actually head out this time, shall we? Let's get out of this joint. Right, before I do leave, actually, I have some armor that I want to give to one of my bandits who needs some armor upgrades. Because I think we lost a bandit, didn't we? I took the armor off his corpse last episode. So where am I? Where am I patrolling, dudes? This is heard. Yes, it is true, friend. They don't. We'll be fighting them soon enough, friend, I can assure you. Oh, actually, I wonder if the Thalmor War is actually part of this mod as well. It makes sense since we saved these guys from the Thalmor themselves. I wonder if the Helgen guys and our bandit group both just started a war with the Thalmor and now we're combining together. That'd be an interesting turn of events, seeing as how we did it independently of each other. Actually, I think most of my bandits have decent armor on right now, so I've got this kind of Boethia armor that I want to get rid of, though. Um... What Who's this? Want? This is just a laborer. I guess all our bandits are fine for armor. Let's go to Falkreath and see if there's a bandit these armor there while we're talking to the blacksmith. Let's go, shall we? Let's go to Falkreath. There we are. Reinhardt. Let's talk to him. He's the new lumber guy. Let's go. Oh, I see some of my bandits out here already on the patrol. What happened? We really need to get rid of these guard bodies. They're just like not despawning oh. at all. It can't be good for the game. Yes. Bandit Blue Skull. Mm -hmm. Citizen, sorceress, who needs armor? Outlaw mage is fine. Bandit, bandit. This guy looks like he could do some armor upgrades. He's wearing just basic leathers. I think we may as well give it to him for some protection. Why not, Ski? Come on, friend. Actually, the, she's a warrior. She might do it. Actually, no, this one. Look at this one over here. She needs new clothes completely. Blue skull, I'm afraid. I, I need you to don some armor, please. This is the Boethia armor, which is what the which is what Regal is wearing. So you've got a mini Regal here. <laughs> not definitely not as strong. We'll probably be felled a lot easier. 
But where's this lumber guy? Because the Bandit King can't mess around with these lumber shipments. So I've got a war to prepare for and an army to lead. So lumber guy, I'm, I'm sick of your games. You're living in a bandit controlled town, you should know what's up. We took this town long ago, I mean, we took we took Falkreath many episodes ago, didn't we? It's been under our control for a while. The guards haven't really come back to take it, like they did with Whiterun. So uh, I think it's going to be ours forever, pretty much. Right, lumber guy lives here, does he? Let us pay a visit to him. Oh, this is a quaint, humble home. Reinhardt, my friend, speak. Marcus Janus sent me to check on his lumber. Marcus Janus? Yes. Ah, yeah. The fella from Coral. What well, is he from Coral, is he? Only short on our now, but we're getting to him as quickly as we can. Uh, that's Coral not good enough, friend. Is he gonna want me to work the mill? Is the Bandit King, King gonna have to work the mill? You want, to you want me to saw the logs? We already paid for you to do what? Fifteen logs. That better be a big discount. I've heard Riverwood is looking for. We should just go to Riverwood. I own Riverwood as well. We should give our bandits the contract. need to get hasty. I'll make it worth your while. I'm okay with giving it to Riverwood. Honestly. Saw logs at the mill. Okay, apparently I've already done it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess I haven't. It just said 15 out of 15. Uh, well, let's go saw some logs then, shall we? Looks like... Wait, who's this here? Hmm. Oh, Roland. So finally found someone who work for free. He has no... I can take his life if I need to. Work for free? What are you talking about? My cousin about? Boland has been down on his back. I came to pull in for him. But I haven't been paid in weeks. Oh, that's a shame, man. I'm, I'm sorry for that. No one in my no one in my town should go unpaid. Why is he not paid I have you? An idea, but can't prove it. I probably said too much already. No, tell me this hey, this is my this is my town. Those logs aren't going to saw themselves. No, you tell hey listen. Just because Reinhard can't pay you doesn't mean I can't. I am the king here. You have in mind? Uh, I'll I'll give him a fair wage. I I will give him a fair well, wage. Honest gold for honest work. I'll take it. The king must shower his uh, workers. With, with 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 good with good wages. All right, fill me in on Reinhardt. I can tell you, Boland is not down in his back. He has said that because he and I both refuse to work for free. Okay, this Reinhardt guy needs Gam to be Reinhardt taken down. Away all our money. What kind it's of gambling? Fight cave. He's addicted to it. He lost oh my! Am I going with goose chase here? To tell me, he Listen, do people do people not know that I'm the king here? Yes. This is, I, I took over this town. My bandits run the streets. No one can skimp on wages or, or steal here. Not when it's mine. I'm going to go to Reinhard. I'll, have to, I'll kill him if need be. I am a bandit, remember? <laughs> uh, let's not get soft now that we're building our own township and our own kingdom. We still, we still take what we please from those who are weaker than us. Alright, let's go have a word with our new friend then, shall we? Alright, you, you guy. You might die in a minute. You lied to me. I know about the fight cave. Oh, have I got to like stop this fight pit now? Okay, this is the fight cave episode. Then is it Fight Club? Bet on you. You fight and win enough times, and I'll get my money back. You keep you winning from the. Okay, we're gonna be fighting in a pit this episode, are we? Okay, this is this is. I didn't know this was gonna happen. We're now entering the pit fights to get. What are we doing? We're the Bandit King. We shouldn't be doing this, but. I guess for the greater good of Helgen, Gore, let's go to these fight pits. How did I not know that there were some fighting pits so close to my, my own town? Look, it's just over here. It's literally just out on the bounds of our, of our town. Well, it's about time we got some action in this episode anyway. The pit fight, the fighting pits. Yes, we will become a pit fighter. The Bandit King. I'll, I'll keep my helmet on so no one knows who I am. Cause I feel if they saw my face, they would... uh. They would surrender and not want to fight. He can't have that. If they knew my, <laughs> if they knew my true identity, they would lay down their arms and yield pretty quickly, probably. I've just got to make sure Gore doesn't come into the actual pit with me because that would be unfair. All right, let's head inside then, shall we? Oh, there it's just fight cave. Was it here the whole time? I just walked past it, I guess. <laughs> the fight cave. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, the fight cave. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this, you know. The one thing Skyrim does miss is the. Uh, is the arenas, you know. I wonder if this will be this series version of the Beggar Brawl. It looks like it's going to be the same kind of situation. Yeah, this is going to be like the bandit version of the Beggar Brawl. Right, friend, I have a recommendation letter. Uh, oh, I, I will not get myself killed. I can assure you of that, friend. I will not. I will be a victor in this pit you call the Fight Cave. Right, let's see then. 
Where do we go? Where do we go down? Do we go jump down here? Do we just go down here? Do we? Yeah, I think that's just it. Right, this is a dodgy looking fight pit though. Look at this. Right, friend, I'm here. Oh, who's this guy? Look at this dude. Pit fighter. He would make a great uh, bandit. Look at him. Oh, there's an invisible guy. Ah, oh, we have a few invisible bandits of our own. These 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 pit fighters would actually be great additions to our bandit army. Right, my friend, I want to fight. No, no more talking. Let me just fight. Right, I'm ready, guy. Come on, let's let's fight. Very well. Your first match will be against a particularly nasty. <laughs> Orc with an enchanted mace. Can take a hit, so be on your toes. Okay. Follow me. Let's do it. Gore, I need you to stay here. I can't have you coming in with me. I know you would want to jump in and fight by my side, but you must stay here, Gore, I'm afraid. Just, remember, Just wait here, friend. Uh -huh. Wait here for a moment. You were the boss. I can't have you fighting beside me, although I, I would love it so much. Right. Come on, Orc. Look, oh, here he is. Oh, he's got full Orcish armor on. He does look a bit nasty. To another exciting round of action in Gosh. the fight cave. The fight cave. Are you not entertained? Orc, come on. Mork the fearful. Nice. Yes. I'm the human spider. <laughs> Oh my! Let's do this. Come on, Mork. I want to crush this guy's head. Oh, don't boo at me. If you knew who I was, I oh, I want to cut all these guys down. Come on, let's do this. For those about to die, we salute you. Man, these guys this is a cult. I almost feel like these guys are scared to fight me now. They're just longing this out. We all <laughs> Come on, we've done this three times already. Let's do this. Here it goes. I hit when his back was turned. Look at that. One strike. Oh, this guy's going downtown. Look at that. Look at that. As I said, de-headed almost instantly in the second swing. Do you know who I am now? Do you fear the name? Oh, you should have known from the start. Yes. Oh, look at this. His head. His wretched head taken from his miserable shoulders. They're booing me. They were rude the day they booed the Bandit King. That was, that was pretty glorious, to be fair. What's he got on him? Orcish, Orcish Mesa Thunderbolts. Yes, please. I don't need his Orcish armor. Don't go away. Let's see if this challenger from the blue team can keep it up. Yes. Yes, look at me. Look how intimidating I look. Two enter, one will leave, but I can assure you I'll be the one who leaves all the time. This is this is better than the uh, the beggar brawler in it, that's for sure. I must say. Just right, Gore, you can come with me now. About time. I know you you would have killed that orc very quickly yourself, but we can't have that. But if I if I brought you in with me, <laughs> you would have killed the commentator as well, I can assure you. Right, let's go talk to our friend then, having won that fight. Pit fighter. Pit fighter. What are you doing wearing wearing mere garments? We get cut down swiftly. I'll bisect you. Right, how do we get out of this joint then? Is there a way out of this place? Right, hi Juan, friend. Here for my earnings. Oh yes, you certainly earned this. I did. Can you level me up to, to blood letter? Yeah, there's just one thing, challenge. We need you to choose a name so we can put on the cards. Bandit King, it has to be, right? Please see Wiggloff and decide what you want to call yourself. The Bandit King, it has to be the case. Unless there's a predetermined list of names that you have to choose from. But it'd be awesome if I could go by the Bandit King. Or maybe the Bandit or something. Right, friend. Let me speak to you. So about picking a name. You really surprised a lot of people out there, <laughs> I, 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 well, I know. Or at least well enough. Let's see what we've got here. I am the Silent Arrow. Deathcaster, Shadowbane, Skull Crusher! Yes! Oh, yes, just like in the early episodes when we were crushing skulls. This this is too perfect. 
the Skull Crusher it is. I think we call ourselves the Head Crusher, but the Skull Crusher works for me. In all those early episodes, and we were going with our little, well, not our little, but our great Warhammer crushing heads. Skull Crusher it is. That's that's that lines up too perfectly for this character. Very well, Pit Dog. You will now be known as Skull Crusher. I might have to re-equip my hammer, you know, because of this. And let me know when you're ready to fight. I I'm ready to fight right now. Excellent. Your next Myrmidon is a local Nord named Vol. Okay. I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you. Myrmidon local Just Nord. Okay. Just take my word on that. Is all I can say. Me. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge anyone. That, that's my my mo is is just charging anyone instantly and cutting them down in in mere seconds. So, yeah. Gore, you have to stay back here, friend. Sadly, again, you need to wait here because you are not you are not a combatant. I'm afraid. Let's see if there's a hammer here because I now I'm back to being called the Skull Crusher. I think it's about time I used a hammer again, isn't it? Have I got a hammer? That is the question. I have got a glass war hammer. Let's do it. Let's truly become the uh, the Skull Crusher again, just like the good old days. Before we were the Bandit King, we were the Skull Crusher when we were leading nothing more than a small band of uh, of bandits. Oh, those were the days on the road, robbing travelers. Yes. Oh, he's wearing dwa uh, dwarven armor. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. Attack him right now, but we're gonna get disqualified. One of your favorite sons is back home and ready to draw blood. Please welcome to the pit your favorite Nord warrior, Vol the Impaler. <laughs> oh, he's getting booed. Oh, am I gonna get cheered this time? Is the Skull Crusher gonna get cheered? And for your challenger, fresh from their first victory, from the Vlad pit, the Impaler. Please welcome your newest challenger. Crusher. Yes! Yes, I'm getting cheered now. All it took was one kill to see the true prowess of my fighting ability. Now they're all cheering me. Let's do this. Well, I'm going to charge this guy. As soon as that health bar appears, we do it. Just like this. Oh, he's a vampire! Too bad for you, friend, but I've killed many vampires. Let's crush your skull. Like yes! <laughs> Perfect! Skull, yes, yes. Oh, okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. Just like that. <laughs> oh. Slain. <laughs> yes. The skull crusher. So working away from this Look how just tough we are. I'll take his health potions. I leave his armor. He was a vampire though, by the looks of it. Sorry, friend, but even that dwarf and helmet couldn't stop the sc uh, skull crusher. If I can say my own name, brilliant! That was fantastic. Let's go get our coin for that as well. I think it's another 250. Although the coin isn't as important for us. Oh, I I'm actually so happy that like the skull crusher was an option. It just fits so perfectly. <laughs> like totally an accident as well. Right, friend, give me my coinage, earnings, please. Of course, 250 there we are. Gold for another Myrmidon match. Well Brilliant. Done. Any other matches? Okay, I'll, I'm ready for another match, honestly. I, I can do this all day. This is actually very fun. This is one of the better arena mods that I've seen out there, to be honest. The the combatants are very unique as well, like Vlad the Impaler, the Orc guy. So they're all very unique right now. Right, friend, I'm about to become your favorite person, because I'm ready to fight again. You let that vampire touch you, did you? No. Don't get too close to me if you did. He didn't, Anyways, trust me. He didn't, he didn't have time. <laughs> and that earns you a new rank. So okay. You are no longer a pit dog. Good. I award you the rank of Myrmidon. Brilliant. Myrmidon Warrior level. I thought blood letter was... Well, maybe that's just Oblivion then. And you've right. drawn a very crafty and unpredictable spellcaster named Ulnarel. Oh, listen, Follow that's, that's not going to matter. That's not going to matter. Listen, my MO of, of just charging them head on with my hammer... Listen, that tactic is unbeaten so far in... I, I've conquered cities with these tactics, okay? So this is just too fun. Let us bout, friend. Let me look in your eyes before you die. That's right. Oh, a Thalmor, are you? Oh, I've slain many of your people. That's it, back off. It's going to take more than that little toothpick to deal with me. Come on. Stand, is it? Yes. Yes! 
Oh, that's that's close to Uber Rail from the uh, Crusaders DLC in Oblivion. Or the Knights of the Nine or whatever. Right, oh, look, the Dwarven Helmet's still, still here. Ah, my trophy. Our newest Myrmidon. Yes! Yes, yes! Look at them cheering for me. They're cheering for your skull to be crushed, friend. Oh, yes, come on. Here goes. Oh, he's taking his spells out. Oh, I missed that first strike, but I won't miss the second one. Give him a, a bash on the chin. Oh, sorry, this won't work, friend. As I flurry attacks, and I. Yes, skull crusher! Perfect! Oh, yes. This is it. This this is for us. This this fits this character too well in this fighting pit. Oh, there's his skull. There's our trophy. There's his skull right there. Look at that. On the ground. Yes. Oh, they're booing me again now. They were cheering me a second ago. Let's see what this guy's got on him. Potion of health. We can always use those. Steel dagger of fear. I don't even don't need that. I'll take it anyway, but I don't really need it. There we are. That was a true skull crushing episode. <laughs> Fantastic. Blue's going down. No, he's not. I can assure you I'm not going down. I could fight naked and I would still win. It looks like I've made a very strong character in this series, that's for sure. Let's fight once more, shall we? And I might end the episode there, possibly. We'll see how this next fight goes. Actually, do you know what? I'll fight until I get to the next level, I think. That'll be a good idea. Right, friend, I'm ready once more. Ready well, to fight. Certainly handled that elf like a seasoned warrior. Well, I am a seasoned warrior, that's why. You in rank to oh, well, there we are. I've ranked up already. I'll For do this, this one other fight, fight then. One of our gladiators has arrived from Cyrodiil just in time Ooh. to face you. Very His nice. His name is Brutus, and he is a veteran fighter. Brutus. So watch yourself. Follow Brutus. Me. A classic imperial name. Oh, Gore, <laughs> in spirit, draws his weapon. I'm sure I'm sure Gore comes to watch me win every time. The Skull Crusher enters his realm once more. This is my world. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at this guy. Welcome back. We're very similar looking. Look at us. Very similar looking. Boom. I like your sword, guy. I might take it off your corpse. Let's do this. Oh, they're booing him. These guys boo everyone. These guys love booing. Brutus, you and I should break out of this place and kill all these guys. For your challenger, our Brutus. Warrior. Yes! Skull Crusher! Skull Crusher. Oh, yeah. Getting a few boos, but they're cheering. They're cheering more for me. Let's do this. Take your position and yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll let you come to me this time. Do you want to come to me? Apparently you're a fearsome warrior. Two-handed, just like me, huh? huh? Oh, oh, he's, he, oh, he's, he's getting in some block, blocking in there. I can do the same, though. Boom. Well, Brutus is a bit, pa bit tougher, but not tough enough. Okay, he's getting in some licks. He's a, he's a fair warrior. Not fair enough, though, because I'm about to crush his head. Okay, he's, he's, he's well matched. He's a good match, but oh, you healed too late for the skull crusher. Look at that. Yes. Oh, the Skull Crusher name is just so perfect. <laughs> yes. What sword does he have on his person then? Dwarven Great Sword of Despair. I'll give that to one of my uh, one of my warriors, I think. Thank you, Brutus. Let's look at his skull fragments. Skull Crusher. You came all this way from Cyrodiil just to die here in some pit in Skyrim, did you? This isn't even my main career. Let's don his helmet there. Oh, this is this is. Very fun. Right, let's go get our prize. Enough, should I do one more fight? Because this is very fun, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting this this episode. Uh, this, I hope this like can go on forever, like you can repeat the fights. Because uh, so far they're very fun. I'm, I'm liking the unique combatants. They're not, they're not just like, oh, like Orc Warrior 1. You know, it's like actually named people. Right, friend, I have done another successful fight. Where's my earnings? All right, I'll do one more fight because these are pretty quick. Would that be, I think, four fights? Five, five fights, I think? So let's do the fifth fight, shall we? And then I think we'll end the episode there. Friend, 
I want one more fight, come on. Defeated one of our most accomplished fighters, I did indeed, with much well ease, done. our lad. Beating a gladiator gains you the new rank of warrior. There we are. Which means you'll be fighting one of our heroes. Oh, okay, old fella hero. With skills in magic and the blade, so he's liable to throw anything at you. Okay. Follow me to the pit. This list looks like a good uh, place to end this episode after killing this guy. I want to fight this guy though. He looks pretty, pretty. Looks like a meatball. Look how big his shoulders are. All right, Gore. Yes, honor thy king, for I fight once more. Let's kill this so-called hero, shall we? Let's see what he looks like. Oh, is that ebony armor? This guy looks deadly. Look at that. This guy definitely looks deadly. I've got some health potions in, the, in case. Let's do this, friend. I'll honor your corpse. I'll give you all the respect it deserves. Tyrannus. Powerful name. Come on. Look how bloodied my, my Warhammer is. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm hearing the cheers. The cheers grow ever on and on. Let us fight, friend. It's always he switched to spells there, did he? Come on. It's going to take more than a few. Oh, he's got a firestorm. What is that? Doing? Oh, okay. He's very powerful. Whoa, okay. This guy's definitely powerful. I can just dodge these though by doing a little bit of this. <laughs> oh, your friend has to bait him out until his flame spell goes. Come on. Come on, coward. Fight me like a, a warrior. <laughs> What's this guy up to? Oh, it's going to take more than that, friend. You know what? Enough of these games. I'm just going to charge this guy. Let's do it. Oh. Ah. oh, there we go. This guy's like a soft piece of meat. Let's do it. Gonna take more than your fancy spells, friend. Let's crush this. There we are. Oh, don't get to see it. Oh, there we are. Just a little in the corner. His skull being shredded. Sorry, Theranis. I'm afraid you fell, just like all those before you. And I'll take your orcish sword of ice. I've got some cool webs this episode from just these corpses. There we are. Some hero he was. Victorious. Let's yes. Hear it for the blue team. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think is that going to be 400 gold? I mean, we killed a hero. That's got to be worth. Well, you'd think killing a hero would be worth more than 400 septims, but I guess in the, in the in the north here in, in Cold Heart Skyrim, you, you get what you can. Take what you can. Right, friend. Give me my coin. Earnings, please. Course, yeah, 400 gold. gold. For a hero match. Well done. There we are. Who's after hero? Like a legend or god or someone? I don't know who's, who's next, but I think whoever is next will be saved for the next episode. Because we've gone for quite a while now. And uh, oh, there's a sleeping pit fighter there. With a bag over <laughs> the bag over their head. Not sure if that helps much in combat. But before I turn this in and do the next one, I will end this episode here. So my friends, join me in the next episode where we will continue this pit fight for as long as we need to. I'm not sure when the guy comes to bet on us though so we can get our lumber. We're doing all this by the way just to get some some lumber. <laughs> like 15 logs which is a crazy turn of events but honestly this episode has been one of my favourites. This pit fight was, was very fun. But then again it is always fun just to crush heads. Look at my, look at my glass warhammer glistening with the blood. Of those felled by it. Look, look how gruesome this thing looks. But yeah, my friends, I'll leave this episode here. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.